Hey, my name's Cowboy. I'm trying this YouTube thing out just for fun because I'm kind of bored. Using my phone camera. Sorry about that. I wanted to do a review because I love guns. Yeah, my name's Cowboy. Yeah, I love guns. So, I bought this Security 9, Ruger Security 9, about two, almost three months ago now because I just didn't want a Glock. I wanted something with more capacity. You know, I didn't really like the feel of Glock. I don't, I don't think they're bad guns for me as a person that don't want one. Anyways, so I went to the gun shop, seen this gun right here for 325, which it is. Completely empty, no mag. And I was like, why not? Let me just try it out. I put my hand, felt really good on it, good stuff. I was like, I don't know. Why not? I'll take it. I'm only 325. I had the price of Glock if I was wrong. I will. Anyways, so this thing does have some weird features that are on most Palmer guns like this. They're high capacity. It does come with a rail, standard rail, but it does have four slots. That's kind of nice. You know, kind of pointless at half time. Came with two mags. I have the stock mag right here. Kind of color filled, kind of did a shitty job, but anyway. Holds 15 rounds. Let's see where that says it. There it is. Let's see if I get that to focus. Kind of, sort of. And then I have my 17 rounder. It's a 15 rounder with a two, you know, plus two extension. So you can see the difference. Say, say they're both loaded, but there ain't nothing in the chamber, so. Say I usually carry it with a 15 rounder because it looks weird. This in it. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but. Say it's fully seated. This still, you can see the gap. So I usually only use this one for the range, usually. Or in my car. But yeah, I've shot 600 rounds through it so far, and I, it's been an awesome gun. I like the trigger pull a lot better. Okay, well, empty. Everybody knows how gritty and weird Glock triggers are, which I usually don't care about, but this one does have the like Glock type safety, you know, with the trigger thing. But this one's a lot lighter. I'd say four, five, maybe pounds. I really do like that. And if you know anything about the skies, like the three little three eighties you could buy, they're like three hundred bucks, almost the same price as this. They come apart the same way. There's a little pin that you just have to barely back up to where the slide meets up with it. And you use a spent shell casing or shell casing screwdriver or what have you, whatever you got. I recommend using something brass just because you don't want to scar up your gun. Guns are expensive, unfortunately. But anyways, it does have an internal hammer like the, uh, I think, I believe it's the LCPs. Yeah, the LCPs. So basically, that is what fires it right there. Let's see here, Let's see if I get it cock all the way back. Yeah, all the gun. I might not be able to. Oh, I got it. You see it's seated right there. Fully seated. So, you can fire it. That's all it does. Basically, just any hammer fire, just instead, it's inside. Really cool. After right that, it's just like, yeah, most Palmer guns or most semi-automatics, period. Take out the spring. Take out the barrel. And this is 9mm. I forgot to say that before. And then, let's see, I'll show you the sights. You got the Glock type sights. The U notch plus the white dot in the front, which I do plan on sw switching this out to a straight white line. And do this one either orange or yellow. I haven't decided quite yet. Just for a brighter picture. I also did color fill the barrel along with, you know, the part of the grip and my mags, as you've probably seen. I put that in. And then use them. It goes in really easy. It's really nice. I've only had one mishap with this gun, period, and that was just, I think that was ammo related. I used some blacker blazer ammunition. 
And uh, I had a failure to feed. That's the only thing I've had wrong at about 600 rounds. I'm not going to complain too much. Especially for a 325 dollars gun. So yeah, it feels real good in the hand. It does have a decent bit of texture. So I don't like it being too rough. I like it still be able to feel a little smooth. Which is right at, right at my alley right there. So it does feel really nice. So you got the Ruger emblem a lot, which I don't mind, because I, I always like Ruger. So now they got a pistol I actually like too. <laughs> so I really do like this gun. It's, it's really affordable, easy to shoot, fun to shoot. You know, and there's some aftermarket for it already, but I, I'm hoping it starts booming. They have sights, you know, specific lasers, light, you know, flashlights, blah, blah, blah. All that good stuff, you know, plus two extensions. That's so far the only thing I find. I can't find like a, a happy mag anywhere yet. I've been trying like hell to find one, but eh, there ain't nothing. Also, if you have a PC carbine, carbine, that's a carbine, carbine, these mags will fit. The Security 9 mags will fit. Now, they won't fit in anything else aside from PC carbine, car, carbine, yeah, and this gun right here. Aside from that, yeah, but anyways. I was able to put uh, on target at 20 yards. I was shooting 12 inch groupings, 10 inch groupings, around in there, trying to get my sight adjusted because it is completely adjustable. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. So I really like this gun. I highly recommend somebody get it. So I got my local gun shop. Please support your local gun shops. That's what keeps us all going. Fuck dicks. Don't be a dick. Buy an AR-15. Y'all have a good one.